morning from our first morning here in Tokyo. Yesterday was probably one of the longest travel days in my entire life that I can remember. Starting in Copenhagen and now ending up here in our cute little studio here in Tokyo. We spent approximately 17 hours in a plane in total. And then the rest of the time was just waiting, queuing up, lining up, waiting for the JR pass, security check, passport control, all of that stuff. But now we are finally here and yeah, a bit defeated by jet lag, but we're somehow making it work. But yeah, today is our first full day here and it's also our first full day of eating, of course. I have so much stuff that I want to try and yeah, why not start off early and do the first vlog today, including everything that I eat. We are staying a bit north from Shinjuku actually in a super quiet area compared to being in yeah Tokyo. Right around the corner from where we stay is a 7-Eleven, which we did pay a visit to last night. They have so much cool stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're gonna head for breakfast this morning too because it's just easy and convenient. Other than that, we don't have that much planned for today because it's our first day, so we just want to settle in easy. We have to be a bit practical and get ourselves a SIM card. Right now, we're surviving with public Wi-Fi and our instincts. So we need to go and get a SIM card and buy some more practical stuff that we need. For example, I forgot all my pajamas at home, so that's super annoying. So I have to buy something else to feel a bit more comfortable walking around here in the apartment. Other than that, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoy it. It's the first of many to come from my time here in Japan and I'm just really excited. And it feels surreal that we've got a month to spend here in this amazing <laughs> country. Pussy. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no. But I'm really, really hungry. So I think we're gonna head to the 7-Eleven and get something quick and convenient for breakfast. <laughs> the best one I had in my entire life. As you can tell by the look of my appearance, it is really really hot and quite humid today. I think it's around 28 degrees and probably 80% plus in humidity. It's absolutely disgusting. I'm feeling much more hydrated now, but I am gonna say that I am feeling quite hungry as well and super tired. I need to adjust to the new routine here and just get my meals in, of course. I'm gonna head for some food for lunch and I'm gonna go for sushi. I'm gonna go to a place that I went to last time I was here and I hope it's just as good as back then. If it is, then it's gonna be really, really good and not disappointing at all, hopefully. made it to Ruobei Sushi, I think it's called. It is one of my favorite places here. I haven't tried out that many, but from what I can remember from the last time, it was super, super good. Anyway, it is a really cool system, so you have your own computer screen in front of you, and you just order whatever you want, and within a couple of minutes, it arrives. I think I should just order something, because I am really, really hungry at this point, and yeah, also tired, as you can obviously tell. Here's to the first of many rounds of sushi. Okay, let's order. I just received the first couple of plates. You order just a bit at a time to prevent waste. So I just want to try some different things and these are the first two plates I got. And the first one is two nigiri with salmon and one with tuna. It looks really good to me. It may seem super basic but you can't go wrong with this if you ask me. For the second plate I have raw shrimp. I've never tried it raw like this but I hope it's good. So let's give it a try. You also do get a bunch of soy sauce and you can dip. I'm excited to try this so let's just give it a go.
made it back home to the Airbnb that we are staying at and I am really really tired. I'm sure that I just underestimated how much the jet lag really affects me and the fact that I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and didn't really sleep the entire night through and I'm just really 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 tired and I can't even speak as you can tell. Actually I think it would be best for me to just sleep for a little bit and then wake up later to be more fresh for the rest of the night and more awake but honestly I think I'm just gonna pull it through the entire night night and hopefully oh well stay up for as long as possible and then get a full night's sleep to adjust to the time zone tomorrow but um let's see for how long i'll stay awake <laughs> other than that as i quickly mentioned i think i had the best match i've had in my entire life today and i'm happy that i found it so soon on the trip we just got here today and we got so much more time to spend and i can have so many more so that's just great i kind of just wanted to touch on one thing and that is when i sat in the sushi place to record myself i felt weirdly nervous it's so stupid i feel so awkward putting out my camera and talking to it even though nobody cared about it because that's the thing here in japan and asia in general i think people don't really get bothered or whatever if you put out a camera because 99 percent of everyone does it i just somehow felt really weird about it and awkward i don't know why but it probably has got something to do with me being super super tired and therefore just overthinking being judgmental towards myself and not liking the way i I look on camera present myself or whatever i'm just being yeah annoyed with myself for no reason because i am so tired <laughs> today is just a bit of an off day like meh not really feeling my best in my own skin but i am sure that has something to do with me being really tired and therefore just overthinking whatever but the good thing is that i stuck with my eating and i still got my meal so far and didn't let that part affect me that's just a good thing but yeah, I think we established the fact that I am really, really tired. I feel that my eyes are like burning behind and yeah, even just the slightest bit of sun make me like close my eyes. Other than that, it feels really good to be back here. I remember some of the train stations and some of the names of the stations yeah, and the lines and stuff, but it makes me much happier to think about now that I get to experience it the fullest. I'm just really happy with that. And I'm rambling a lot because I am tired. <laughs> For the rest of the night, I am sure that we're just gonna... Well, it's only 4.50 or 430, 4.30, so it's not that late, but probably just going to rest and then go out and have dinner at some point, maybe a snack before that, I'm not really sure, but I am going to eat more today. But for now, I need to just relax my mind and yeah, I can't even talk properly right now, as you can tell. <laughs> So not in the mood for that. But I did just find a backup place and I built my own selection. I have buddha noodles with some spring onions and something crispy, I don't know what it is. And an egg and some tempura, I think this squid and a fried vegetable, I don't know what it is. And some soy sauce to dip it in. Let's try this. Oh, this is so good. 
and really greasy. Good thing we got napkin. I'm gonna try one more thing. I am shaking so badly and I think it's because I'm tired. I don't know what this is, but let's try. Mm. It's a crab stick. <laughs> I mean, everything fried is good. I love how we just end up going to random places and they turn out amazing. I think that's just in general when I travel Southeast Asia and now that I'm in Japan. You can't go wrong with most places. They just do their food really good. Of course when you choose Japanese food and all that stuff. 